Hello, I'm Dr. William Tremaine. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I want to uh, review with you some information from a recent publication from the American Journal of Gastroenterology. This was from September 2015. It's just published online so far. It's from Denmark and it's looking at the risk of invasive pneumococcal infection in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, that is both patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So in Denmark everybody's on the computer. They have 5.6 million residents and they're able to do huge studies that we can't do in the United States because we're not all on the computer. So they were able to look at patients with inflammatory bowel disease and they found 75,000 patients, 25,000 approximately, with Crohn's disease and about 50,000 with ulcerative colitis and they matched those patients with 20 controls and that is patients same sex who lived either urban or rural same area in Denmark who didn't have inflammatory bowel disease and they looked to see at the risk for these people getting pneumococcal invasive disease. Now pneumococcal disease that's a common cause in old people of pneumonia, but it can also cause meningitis and it can cause bloodstream infections. So it can be very serious and even fatal. So it turns out that in this study, the risk of pneumococcal invasive disease was twice as high in patients with Crohn's disease as in controls, and it was 1.5 times as high in patients with ulcerative colitis. Now you'd think that it's probably because of the medications. Uh, often patients with inflammatory bowel disease are on medicines that suppress their immune system such as steroids or azathioprine or methotrexate or anti-TNF drugs, things like infliximab or adalimumab. In this study, the patients with Crohn's disease, there, there was no relationship between the medicines they were taking. So they were just as likely to get pneumococcal infection whether they were on these immune suppressant drugs as if they weren't. For the ulcerative colitis patients, it looked like they were more likely if they were on azathioprine to get the infection, but it didn't make any difference with any of the other drugs such as uh, prednisone or, or infliximab. So why would this be? Well, we suspect that patients with inflammatory bowel disease have increased permeability so, uh, in their intestines, so it's easier for bacteria to get across the barrier from the intestine into the bloodstream. That's a theory. So that perhaps that's what's happening in these patients. What it points out is the importance of vaccinations for pneumococcal disease in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. Currently, the Center for Disease Control uh, in the U.S. recommends two pneumococcal vaccines for everybody age 65 or older. So there's the PCV13 vaccine and then a year later to get the PCV23 vaccine. The CDC says that if a patient is on immune suppressive agents and they're 19 or older, then they should also get the vaccine. So that would include a lot of patients with inflammatory bowel disease, patients who are on corticosteroids or immune suppressants or anti-TNF therapies. But now it looks like even those patients who aren't on those drugs who have IBD should be considered uh, to, to get those vaccines. Now right now the, the uh, CDC says, well, if you have cancer, if you have lymphoma, if you have HIV, then you should get those vaccines after age 19. doesn't mention anything about IBD. I wrote to the uh, CDC and said, look at this paper and perhaps you should change your guidelines. So perhaps we'll hear more from the CDC about this. Thank you.